Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to the TMS channel and welcome to this video. So we are presenting you the second part of the boards and streams. So in this video, we'll try to solve some problems. So let's begin. Let's see the first problem. The speed of the bot in standing water is 9 km per hour. And the speed of the stream is 1.5 km per hour. So, a man rows to a place at a distance of 105 kilometers and he comes back to the starting point. So, we have to find the total time taken by him. So, now we know that the speed of the upstream is the speed of the boat in standing water minus the speed of the stream. So, it will be 9 minus 1.5 which gives 7 kilometers per hour. So, now in order to calculate the speed of the downstream, we all know that we'll just add the speed of the boat in standing water to the speed of the stream, which is 9 plus 1.5, which gives us 10.5 km per hour. Next, we'll calculate the time taken upstream and the time taken downstream by the boat. So, as we know, the distance is 105 km and we know the speed of upstream and the speed of downstream. So using the time distance formula, we'll calculate time is equal to distance upon speed, which gives us time taken upstream equals to 105 divided by 7 equals 15. And in the case of downstream, we have 10 hours time. So we'll just add these two times, which gives us 25 hours, the answer to this question. Let's see the next question. In this problem, we're given <coughs> that a man can row three quarters of a kilometer so we know here that the distance is 750 meters so we know that he can row against the stream in 10 minutes and down the stream in five minutes so we need to calculate the speed in kilometers per hour of the man in still water so this question is a bit tricky because we got the values in in meters and in minutes but we need to specify our answer in kilometers per hour so let's see how to do this first of all we have the distance equals to 750 meters and we also know the time upstream and the time downstream which is 600 and 300 meters uh, seconds respectively so we can calculate the speed upstream and the speed of the boat in downstream which is 750 divided by 600 which gives us 5 divided by 4 meter per second of the, for upstream and for downstream we have 750 meters divided by 300 seconds equals to 5 divided by 2 meter per second. So now we have the speed of the boat in upstream and the speed of the boat in downstream. Next we can calculate the speed of the boat in still water which is speed of the boat in upstream plus speed of the boat in downstream divided by 2. We all know how this com uh, formula came from in the previous video so in order to see how this formula came up you can watch the previous video which is the board system part one and next we get 15 by 8 meters per second so we know the speed of the boat in still water in meter per second but we need to convert it into kilometers per hour so what we'll do is so in order to convert from meter per second to kilometers per hour we need to multiply it by 18 by 5 so we'll just multiply 15 divided by 8 into 18 by 5 to get the answer in kilometers per hour which is 54 divided by 8 or in decimals we can say 6.75 kilometers per hour so that is it for this video guys so as you all know that there's a lot of videos coming up every week we post a new video and we are trying level best to post as many videos as possible in one week so please do subscribe to our channel and you can share your feedback in the form of comments you can also uh, ask us questions regarding this video you can also ask us questions regarding some different topic that you want to learn about and please share us on facebook if you do like this video and till then be must and keep rocking thank you bye bye